but Dax was, I would say that Dax was, is the best Mexican hard rock player, so it's a little surprising to me that he's not playing this. But I'll end up getting proven wrong, and they're going to three-way FC it, aren't they? That would be a treat. It would certainly be something. And here we go. How many misses are we going to get in the first 100 combos, Zach? Uh, across all players? Yeah. How about 10? Ooh, spicy. Very spicy. There's one, two... Actually, Dust missed quite a few there, actually. There's only a few, maybe like four in total, I think it was. Maybe five, because of Dusk missing quite a few. But that is going to be the advantage for Mexico coming out of the start. We'll have to see if they can hold it, though. Oh yeah, it's only about 10,000 points, I think, because of the amount of misses that Dusk had. Obviously, isn't that much, but I think it's well and because of it being very early in. Oh yeah! Oh, this oh. Gonna... that's not a good drop. That spinner, right? After that was a harsh oh. drop. Yeah, that was quite a few notes. All brought his accuracy down all the way to the same as Dusk, and we know that Dusk missed several newts throats in the beginning. Coming into this section, though, we do get to see a few hard jumps that we can see some misses on. Back into more streams. Casio finds another miss on those streams. Yeah, this is not looking good for Mexico right now. China, though. Look at those combos. It's just kind of what they do. Just a little bit. Both Crystal and Kalyan it having SSs. It's all coming down to the difference between Dusk and Casho on this map, it seems. And oh, as, I, as soon as I say that, CX Lucha finds a miss, which does bring out the gap a little bit even more. Those scores from China. Two FCs and one choke from the very beginning. Very impressive. It's going to bring it to 1-0 Mexico so far. The only map I could say with complete confidence that is China favored, just because of the pure difficulty of the map. Especially with the players that China has, they're very known for stuff like this, being high BPM, very fast. Mexico could put up a really good fight on this though, if they kind of sneak one in. Do you actually see a very, very early miss from Crystal and Ponchiwi, both coming in at about the same time. Right before 200, we see CX Ultra drop. It's not going to be as impactful as a miss from here on out, but that next one is going to be a little bit more painful. Yeah, Mexico is just going to have to hope that the next miss, that the next miss is from the Chinese side. Oh yeah, got some pretty funky streams coming up, but that's not the streams I was talking about, Cash, so you can't be afraid to miss those, but Dusk surprisingly finds a miss right before these streams that are coming up at about 510 combo, followed by Kalyanet, and another one, Hanchiwi and Crystal both holding on very well. CX which are building Mexico's combat. chance. Oh yeah, their combos are a lot higher. And Crystal drop too. That is huge. But as soon as we say that, Panchiri breaks his full combo. Right before they got the lead. They still might be able to bring it back. It's going to be one miss territory now, I think. If you see one more miss on the side of China, it's going to swing right into the Mexican side. But instead we get Kasho missing. I have another one of those wonky streams. Crystal misses right before those streams coming up. Six or so trades it along with Casho. All the side of Mexican uh, Mexico is broken. Right in this end part. Dusk and Kalyanet holding the huge combos for the team. It's looking like that's going to be it for this map. 
Mexico actually put up a very good fight in the beginning of that, but kind of couldn't hold it through towards the end. Dusk finding only one miss. Very nice Yeah, they play. definitely did very good. One minute ahead, Kirsten Tating. Calionet is going to miss a 450 combo. That is my now, guess. Now, why would you do that? It's okay, but Firu is going to also miss at 500. That's my guesses. And then they're going to all FC. That's what's going to happen. Getting off with this really nice short start. Very simple intro. Little funky sliders. Both teams coming up to 350 pretty well, all holding full combos. We just see we see a little drop from accuracy on the side of Fever. We do see the first miss coming at 450 from Fever. I predicted Kalyanet, but it was not Kalyanet. I'm sorry. Dusk yeah, I was about to say. It could come down to spinners with that little trade back from Dusk. Yeah, it could. I do believe that Fear did miss an extra note, which could bring it into the side of China's favor. That's going to be a miss of Ooh, sequence. no. Not what you wanted to see. Followed up by another one right there. It's a Crystal and Kalyan holding strong along with Daxaraz. That's going to be a third point on the side of China. Yeah, they are now halfway to victory. Only one miss between all three players. Very hard to beat that. Might be a little difficult to hit some of those wonky triples that come in at about the 250 combo. But he can do it. I believe in him. I mean, if he didn't think he could, then he probably wouldn't be playing it. You know, you do bring up a very fair point, Zach. Oh, we, the first miss from China. That's and then it trades right back. <laughs> oh yeah, with that double miss too. You know the miss from Lucha. Yeah, Mexico can. They just can't catch a break here. Oh, yeah. This next upcoming Ki is relatively easy compared to the other Ki eyes. It doesn't feature those little reverse repeats. But there is one little stream at about the 450 combo, I think, part. Right there, it was 420. CX Lutra does find a miss on it. It's also another relatively far jump that we could see some players missing on. Coming up right about now. Nope, everybody hits it. Crystal does find a miss on those little streams though. Could be a sign of hope. They're gonna need at least one more miss on the side of China though for Mexico to take come back. Maybe even more than one more, yeah. It's not given much of an edge. Oh, but Crystal missing again! Do they have the enough time? I don't think they do. It's slowly moving over, but just not fast enough. And that's it. That's it. Close. A lot closer than the other maps have been so far. I believe that was the closest map that we've had so far. Not here, but both teams actually. All China needs Crystal, Kalyanet, Dusk. They're just sticking with that roster. I mean, why change something that works, you know?
Don't fix what ain't broke. Yep, quite literally. Just to see Dax Oz and Fury coming back in. You know, I'm just not realizing this is also air 8.3. I thought this was air 8 the whole time. A bit late on that one. Yeah, you've learned something new every day. Both teams hitting that 200 combo mark quite well. Only difference is one more droplet miss on the side of Fury compared to Crystal. That don't mean much though. Uh, you have the miss from Callie and Ed. Oh yeah, that was quite a few notes as well. That was about three notes, I think. But it's going to be traded right back by CXHO. Something fairly important to note, but not super important, is that Lucha only missed one note. But that doesn't matter anymore because Fear trades it right back. And it goes right into China's favor. Oh yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure next parts of this map are very, very slow and a little hard to miss on until about 800 combo, right? I wouldn't say it's hard to miss. It's a lot easier than the rest of the map, if I remember correctly. At least depending on if you're very comfortable with these streams. Everybody doing very well on them. Fury finds a miss on the little wiggle right there. China, as well as Daxwa, is still holding strong with her full combos. Here we go, into the break. All the players can see how everyone else is doing. Might be a little demotivating for Mexico. Yeah, it might be, seeing that you're down about 100,000 points. Only about one... Oh! Eight. That miss from Crystal, though! Oh yeah, it's right before the ending, too. They're gonna need at least one more, maybe even two. But anything is possible at the end of this map. Oh, there's one! There's a few tricky patterns coming up in this section. You always see some misses on the fears dropping very rapidly. It looks like it's not going to happen now. At this point, they would need a fail from China, and I don't see it happening. Oh yeah, I don't see it happening either. China's just way too strong. You see, I do see a lot of misses coming towards the end. That is going to be... Match Dusk, point. though. Yeah, you, you know, you remember when Dusk couldn't play lower yard hidden Zack? Anything is honestly possible. Even though it might seem like a gargantuan task, it's always possible. Yeah, Mexico's really going to need that support. Here we go. This map is really easy to miss almost anywhere in the map. Completely littered with these far jumps, and we're gonna do see a huge double break coming in from the side of China. And Dusk too, this is exactly what Mexico needs. This is like the beacon of light shining down on Mexico, saying, here you go, take this. 
Estrella kind of rejecting the beacon of light a little bit. Ooh, but it's a trade, though. Oh, yeah. We got two misses from China still. Oh, yeah. Is this the dream Ooh, drop from Thaxaraz. Counting it. Dude, Lucha's holding on. He's carrying the, the hopes and dreams of the reverse sweep on his back. Is the comeback real? I think it's real. Well, at least this first point of the comeback is... This is a pretty huge gap, 150,000 points. Ooh, we had a couple misses from Kagamin. Traded with Daxaraz, but it's it's gonna keep things just the same. Kalyanet! Lucha finds his break though. Full combo is gone, but I honestly don't think it's gonna be enough coming to his mass map. Estrella does miss. But that is the point, the break point for Mexico. The comeback is real! Are they gonna do it? Oh my lord, it would be amazing if we could Can get... they do it? If you want to see Mexico, get that comeback. Support them in chat. If you see, want to see China close it out, make sure you support them too. Here we go straight into this map. Starting off relatively speedy. Did see a few misses from the Canada Hong Kong match in this intro, I believe. Or at least I know it's possible. Definitely get some misses. Both teams getting some. Will we see it here, though? Oh, I think we will. I have a feeling we're going to see quite a few misses coming in this first combo part. Here's where it starts to get a little bit wonky. First, nope, okay, never mind. My bad. Oh, they're still going, they're going. Oh my God, who's gonna be the first? Oh. Ooh, a double miss. Crystal and Australia. Yeah, right about the same time, too. We do see Australia does have a little bit less accuracy. Not sure if that means he missed more fruits, but we will find out. Calionette does yeah, find the second more miss. Now. Yeah, true, that is very true. But I believe it is less of a miss than Kalyanet's miss. But that one yeah, is going to about even it, I believe. Hachiri does find a miss on that very far dash section and another one right after it, too. So it's Traded not with Crystal, thick. though. Yeah, that is true. See, both the FCs coming in from Daxfaz and Dusk. Stray, I believe, is still right under that 200 combo mark. Oh, he's very far under it. Never mind. That score gap is going to get only larger and larger. I believe it's going to get to about 80,000 points. It's going to need two misses from the side of China to even it out. Definitely doable, though. They're not too far behind. Oh, yeah. This ending is not easy either. Dusk still SSing. That's actually incredible that he still has an SS, with especially these wonky droplets that are just everywhere. Usually, you see players just ignoring the droplets, say, I don't want to catch those. They're like two points. I don't need two points. Yeah, but you don't see Dusk miss. Oh yeah, Dusk. On these kind of maps especially. Here we go into the last tricky section. All teams hitting the first part very well. Everybody hitting that little 1-1 one, one jump. A drop from Estrella though. It's not what Mexico needs. Oh, that's a triple miss. Ooh. I saw Kalyan at miss first, but Dax wasn't punchy. We followed it up as well as Estrella. I think that's, that's gotta hurt. Here. Yeah. We saw that little beacon of light shine last map. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to pull it back at this point. Oh, no. You just look at what Dusk is doing to them. Is he gonna SS this? No way. He is. He did it. That is actually insane. And that's going to be the match. 6-1. Going to China. Mexico put up a pretty good fight. 
Yeah, they, they played well. very well. But China's just too strong, it seems. It's usually the case. Yeah, usually. We did see a little bit of a beacon of hope on that last we map. We know that all too well. Oh, yeah.